Welcome back. Today we are talking about Jed North for a clothing haul. So I actually had never heard of this company, but a couple of y'all had mentioned them and said, wow, I would love for you to do a clothing haul for this company. So I did it. I got some clothes. I'm really excited. I'm going to try them on for you. We'll talk about it a little bit. And then at the end of this video, we will talk a little bit more about what the company culture is as a whole. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so getting to their homepage of the website, again, I was like, yeah, they have cool clothes for sure, but I can already tell that it's not exactly gonna be my style just because it's a little bit more bodybuilding focused, people with like giant ripped arms, and I'm like, oh, hopefully these clothes fit me at all, you know? But let's jump right into some of the products that I tried on. Starting with the revamp hoodie, I got it in small and dark gray, and honestly, this is a great piece to start with because it's a super comfortable sweatshirt, it fits really well, it was just a perfect starting point and it gave me a lot of encouragement when I tried on these clothes. I was like, oh, maybe I actually will really like these. So I would say really good quality here, definitely worth the $69 for it. Um, and right off the bat, I will note that their sizing is a little funky at Jed North because they have smalls all the way up to triple X. Uh, and the triple X is great, but it's a little odd that they don't have an extra small option. For this, a small was perfect, but you'll see further down the line that an extra small probably would have been the move. So this is the Born Stretch Workout Stringer. So I was actually really excited about this. I always like a quirky design and I liked the colors of it. And I also liked that it was only $25. Like you can't beat that, right? I would say the problem with it, I got a medium just because I wanted to see how the sizes fluctuated. Uh, and a medium was definitely too big. You'll see even a small for their tank tops was too big for me. So. Something to keep in mind with this brand, I think that they definitely cater to much bigger guys. So if you're not that, like me, uh, this might not be the brand for you because they might not even carry a size that fits you. I think that the hard part here is that $25 is really cheap for a stringer or for a tank and that's great, but it's 90% polyester and 10% spandex and it feels really good, but I can imagine that it would pill really quickly. So just something to keep in mind with this like fast fashion, sometimes we want a product that will hold up after a few washes and this does not seem like it would be one of those products. This is the signature baseball cap. And once again, I've been really big into the tie dye into like the camo lately. And that's why this hat really called to me. And I'm happy it did actually. For 20 bucks, it's a very well-designed hat. It feels like the integrity of the hat would be maintained uh, even after wearing it for a while. So I would say if you're looking for an accessory like a hat, this is actually a really good option for you. The Matrix Tapered Jogger was probably my favorite item in the entire order. Uh, it was a really good length. The material that is used for it, you can tell is just a good material. It's not a super light material that some joggers are made out of. And it's only 50 bucks, which for a jogger is insane, right? Like if you think about a Lululemon jogger that's like 120 bucks, um, 50 bucks for a jogger, you really can't go wrong. And they look really nice, they hug really well, they're really well fitted. Um, so I would say definitely, if you are looking for a new jogger, try these out. The revamp jogger, on the other hand, was odd to me. Both of these joggers were size small and the navy joggers fit a little too tightly, and these joggers were a little too long. I'd say you could cut off like four inches off the bottom of these joggers and they would still be long enough. I, this is for someone who's like 6'6", six, six, because I'm six feet tall and they were way too big for me. And for a small, that doesn't make sense. So again, the sizing here is just a little off. That being said, they're very comfortable sweatpants, very comfortable joggers. I wouldn't wear them to the gym or I wouldn't wear them to work out because they're a little too heavy, but as kind of like a laying around jogger, they're great. Okay, now we get into some of the items that I really did not like at all. Uh, these shorts, I think they're fucking ugly. I think they are so, oh gosh, they are the agile bodybuilding shorts. I don't know why they would do this color green. I don't know why they would do this ugly yellow drawstring that had way too long of strings. Again, this might be just like kind of a preference thing of like not loving the bodybuilder short or bodybuilder stringer look, but these were such a disappointment to me. And the material, very similar to the Galaxy stringer that we were talking about, I don't think it would hold up. I think it would get caught on something at the gym, it would pill, and I'd be like, okay, we're gonna throw these away, which is such a waste of money, so bad for the environment, not a big fan. 
The motion sweatshorts are just kind of weird to me. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of having like a big logo on it. So having Jed North along the bottom there, eh. I also cannot imagine doing any amount of hit in these because they are 100% cotton, which means that they would just absorb the sweat and get super heavy and gross. I've never really been a big fan of these kinds of shorts. You know, people who wear cotton shorts to the gym, I just don't understand. You're like saying, oh, I refuse to sweat today. So to each their own, right? But. Not for me. I really like the idea of the Velocity Workout Stringer. I, I really do. I think the material is fine for a tank top. It's like pretty comparable to Nike, but for some reason they just decided to make it so long. They only have size small. They don't have any smaller than that. And I felt like the only way that I could wear this tank top was to tuck it in. And I don't wanna have to do that, right? Why, why can't you just make a tank top that's a normal length, right? But they really just screwed up their sizing. I don't get it. Uh, I think the color is really nice. I think the price point is good. It's $28, you know, like that's great. But again, just worried about why the sizing is so weird and why they can't really figure that out. Something that is kind of consistent across other brands and their brand. Because I mean, it's not just that overall Jed North has bigger sizes. It is that like from product to product, the sizing is different. And that's a no-go for me. And then lastly, we have the Momentum tank top. And honestly, I like this product. I like how it looks. I told you I really like the tie-dye, right? I like that it's like a little bit out there. But once again, it's like for someone who has two of my torsos, like it is super wide and it's super long. I just don't quite understand. I also wouldn't really wear this tank top to the gym. I would wear it maybe like going out or something because I do that all the time, but I would have to tuck it in because otherwise it would be like longer than the shorts that I'm wearing. So hopefully they get their sizing figured out. I really did want to like this tank top, but it, it being cotton, not really great for the gym and the sizing is just whack. Okay, so let's dive into what I was able to find out about the company. Honestly, in this deep dive, I wasn't able to find a ton. It was started in Canada by a guy named Jed Jin. He sees their place in the market as being somewhere between H&M and Zara, like so many companies do, right? At least quality-wise and price point-wise. And I think this is a good place to be. They also see their designs as timeless. So they're trying to make fitness clothes that aren't going to you know, be out of style in five years. But the problem is that the products will not hold up for five years. There's no way. So the idea of it is kind of like a little bit of an oxymoron to me. Why do you care so much that your styles are going to be timeless forever if these clothes are just gonna fall apart? That you can tell they were manufactured decently cheaply, which we need that in some cases, right? But a weird, thing to have as like your mission for your company, I think. Overall, I was really pleased to see the representation of the BIPOC community in their marketing materials. I thought that was really great, but I would love to see a little bit more size diversity from Jed North. They have a huge emphasis on aesthetics and bodybuilding, and I wish that they were just a little bit more inclusive with their marketing materials and with their sizing. I think that uh, going small to triple X is fine, but they could do a little bit better. And when I looked into some of their women's clothing, that was definitely the case as well. I think that they could improve uh, their sizes a little bit. And that is it. I really enjoyed trying out some pieces of clothing that I don't think that I necessarily would have tried before. I think that this should give you a good idea of if Jed North is the right clothing company for you. And I'm hoping to see in the future that they, you know, come through with a little bit more consistent sizing and maybe some more out there style choices. We'll see. Thanks for watching.